what's going on YouTube this is your girl Queens I coming back at you hey look I wanted to make a video about the goddamn Super Bowl you know I really don't watch current events y'all I don't be watching this shit y'all I swear but I did see that goddamn halftime show and that's what the fuck I want to do my video on <laughs> so let me put my uh cigar out so, I'm watching this bullshit, so let me just set the tone for how I was watching the game. So, one of my male friends is like, they wanted me to come over to watch the game. So, I wasn't doing shit. I was off. I had already worked that day. So, I decided to go over. Now, we smoked some weed and I fell asleep. I woke up fucking halftime show was on. Dre ass was performing. I love Dre. Okay? I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I've been down with Dre since N.W.A. He ain't my favorite rapper, but I fuck with him. He one of those go-to rappers. He's one of my, when I'm in some shit, when I'm going through some shit, I could put on a Dre song and or Dre or Drake, but Dre... And, and 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 I can get some messages from that shit. So, you know, plus, you know, you got to respect the man that, you know, is thugged out and can still play classical music. Like, that shit is sexy as a motherfucker to be, you know, different. Like, don't put them two together, nerdy and thuggish. Ah, oh, man, I'm in love. But anyway, so we moving forward. <laughs> so I'm watching this shit. I'm Snoop on there. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they bring out. Of all motherfucking people, of all motherfucking people, Mary J motherfucking bitch ass Blige, y'all, I just got to say this. Now, I know a lot of people don't know this, but Mary J Blige is exactly is from where I'm at currently. Mary J Blige family is from the west side of Savannah, just like uh, Big Boy from Outkast, okay? So, I'll say this. From this being a place where Mary J. Blige grew up or spent a lot of time growing up, she ain't did shit for this city. She don't come here and do shit for this city. She has never done shit for this city. So I got to have a little distaste in my mouth because, bitch, you took your bitch ass all the way on Super Bowl and you didn't even fucking represent for Savannah, Georgia. You punk ass motherfucker let me just tell you this not this savannah is all of that but damn it we got some talented ass motherfuckers down here and what she did on that stage was not talent it was not fucking a performance it was some hogwash bullshit and as a matter of fact i thought that i even smelled some 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 salmonella come up from under that goddamn outfit she had on i i could smell an aroma from her and it wasn't no bath and fucking body work some shit you can't wash off you got the you know antibiotic it off of you but anyway so i just really want to know who these elected officials are who thought that it was okay to put Mary J. Blige as the worst definition of a black woman that you can have. A woman who done been out there, you know, on drugs, a lot of abusive relationships. She, Her greatest come up is bad relationships. This is who the fuck you got assisting you. Not Faith Evans, not Missy Elliott, not Destiny's Child. And I understand Beyonce, but Kelly Rowland, you understand what I'm telling you? You got Total, you got SWV, you got Salt and Motherfucking Pepper that could have did a better motherfucking performance that people would have loved to see better. Then on top of this, she don't get up there and do shit like I'm doing just fine, a happy melody, a happy dance track. She dancing to no more drama, no more pain. What the entire fuckity motherfucking fuck? Who the fuck? I want to talk to the Super Bowl Entertainment Halftime Show fucking committee ASAP. I need some resignations on somebody's desk ASAP. Then you had the audacity to have a cokehead up there. Everybody know. Why the fuck you ain't put Casey and JoJo cracked out ass up there? You feel me? You got Mary J cracked out ass up there. I don't give a fuck. Fuck her. Why did y'all do that to us? 
You could have put Tracy Chapman up there and got a better fucking response from us. The fuck is wrong with the Super Bowl committee? Oh, because Janet showed a little titty. Bring Janet ass back. The fuck? Man, look, I'm blow. Y'all, I'm blow by that goddamn Super Bowl performance. Fuck the teams and who played and who won. I don't give a fuck about that. Why the fuck did they put Mary J. Blige stinking ass up there? And don't get me wrong. I fuck with Mary J. Blige music, but I don't want to see her at no football game. I want to see somebody, Sierra. Why the fuck y'all ain't put Sierra up there? These motherfuckers went and got married, rusty ass J. Blige? No. Say it ain't so. Look, I don't know if it affected y'all, it offended y'all, it offended me. Because in 2022, it's the year of partnerships. Ain't nobody trying to partner with no with no fucked up ass females. Ain't nobody trying to partner up with no fucked up ass males. So to have her on that goddamn halftime show, it just go, it just foreshadowing how the fuck they trying to make back black people life the rest of this year all fucked up. Nah, we don't want that shit. She don't represent all black women. She don't represent the black woman. You could have got Erica Badu up there. And this ain't no shade to none of these other artists. The person I'm throwing shade at, there should be shade to put it, be put in a coffin, stick a fork in her ass. She is done. Mary J. Blige. Let's just be real. They could have brought me an ex bitch ass back out. I would have been pumped up with me an ex up they rapping. You get Mary J. Blige? Who the fuck? What the fuck? 50 Cent had something to do with that shit. 50, why the fuck you did that to Mary? Why you did that to our black people, 50? Your ass got something to do with it, too. You was up there on that stage, too, 50. What the fuck? Diddy, why the fuck y'all did that shit? Damn, she done fucked enough people to finally get, she done finally fucked her way to a Super Bowl performance. Congratulations, Mary. Congratulations, Mary. Look, I, like I said, y'all, I'm not no Mary J. Blige hater, but I'm not, I'm not, but I'm not no goddamn fan either. You feel me? I'm not a fan and I'm not a hater. I'm neither. I want to see a good fucking halftime show. I don't watch football. So when I tune in, I'm only tuning in to see who fucking doing the performance. Bring Justin Timberlake ass back. He got more of a black card. The fuck? Y'all got Mary bitches? Man, bad relationship, Mary. Aw, oh, man. 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 It just ain't... Man, you could have bought Kelly Price, man. It's so many people they could have bought. They could have represented better for the black female community than Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige like 50 years old with no kids because she done aborted so many babies. <laughs> like, for real, Mary? Mary. I ain't with it, y'all. I ain't with it. That shit just ain't hit me right. I'm sorry. Somebody need to tell me about what the fuck, why the fuck they chose Mary. Like, like I said, I might be throwing shade at Mary. I ain't no Mary hater, but shit, she ain't making no tracks that's positive. She making all of these, these niggas ain't shit tracks. No more pain, no more drama. It's talking about her bad relationship. And then didn't Dre just get a divorce from his wife? Like, what the fuck is really going on? Man, please. Man, I was very, I was highly disappointed in just Mary's performance. Everybody else did a miraculous job. Kendrick Lamar stole the fucking show as usual. You know, Dre stole the show. Dre did his thing, y'all, on that piano, man. That shit is high. I don't know if y'all know about Dre. Dre is a motherfucking genius. Dre has a very high IQ. Um, 
which is impressive. I don't know much about Snoop besides his music, um, and he smoked weed. But I'm glad to see Snoop Dogg done calm down. Like, it's good to see a, a OG grow and get older and become a real OG. So I am I am proud of, of Snoop. He has stretched his limit. You know, he on this show with with, uh, with Martha Stewart, an older white lady. You know, it, or he was. I don't know. I don't watch TV. I don't even know if that shit's still on. I don't know what they doing right now. But I do know that Mary J. Blige is on power. And so that's why I said 50 Cent had something to do with it. 50, you wrong as hell for letting your star or your, 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 your co-star on your motherfucking show get up there and embarrass you like that. That was not power. That was powerless. She could have got up there and sung the fucking theme song to power and it would have went, would have did better with fans. So I want to hold you personally responsible, 50 Cent. Because I know you got way more business skills than that. Look at what you did with, with, with your career. I mean, you, you a mogul. Why the fuck you ain't taught that girl how to be a mogul? She ain't stretching. She full of drama. She ain't acting. She's not stretching her palate. She's being married. The fuck? Why don't y'all put her in a loving role, something that bitch ain't, and see how she do? That's how you know when she can act. When you get her to stretch her range, she's not a loving person, all right? And I don't know her personally, but I can tell you from this town that she's from, she ain't did shit for us down here. She ain't came down here, got a motherfucking community center. This bitch ain't got a goddamn street named after her. She ain't even redid the fucking house she was motherfucking in growing up. You feel what I'm saying, y'all? That's not a loving person. So why the fuck was she up there causing more pain, causing more drama? I know for my Valentine's, because I watched her bitch ass show, I had man problems on Valentine's Day. When your sneaky link can't get it right for the motherfucking Valentine's Day, that shit, day is whack. That's whack. That's whack, 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 whack. And it's Mary's motherfucking fault. I want to goddamn petition these motherfuckers. You ruined my motherfucking Valentine's Day and my damn Super Bowl with your fucking shenanigans. Somebody owes me some motherfucking money for the lingerie I bought for Valentine's Day, for the weed I bought for Valentine's Day, and the weed I bought for Super Bowl. Fuck out of here. I need a refund, damn it. Shit. Y'all, I'm pissed about that fucking shit. That was a waste of my time. A waste. Can you say waste? But anyway, y'all, I'm at my clients. I'm pulling into their driveway now. I just thought I'd share that fuckery because I really don't like that shit. I really was pissed. And the city of Savannah is disappointed in Mary J. Blige. And I'm going to be the one to say it. You fucked us over. Fuck you, Mary. You ain't shit, Mary. Don't bring your no more drama ass back down here to the seaport. We don't want you, bitch ass. You, your, your seaport card has been revoked, bitch. We don't want you. We don't, we don't want you, goddammit. Fuck out of here. 